我爱中医。我爱中医。J'aime la médecine traditionnelle chinoise. Ich liebe TCM. Seretem. A hagyományos kínai orvoslást. Man alaqe ziyadi be tepe sonati chini va tepe suzani dara. Haram bariye China va IPM murakalay mihavum bir bhedre. I love Chinese medicine. The characteristics of the demography of TCM acupuncture students in Canada is as follows. They're typically about 40 years old, mostly female, and have other professional backgrounds. Most of the students have completed college or undergraduate education, and some even have masters, doctoral degrees, or were Western medicine doctors in their countries of origin. They also come from liberal arts, sciences, and all walks of life. Students come from different sources and at different levels. Some have a medical background and some don't. Some older students are mostly engaged in other majors such as marketing, engineering, accounting, or they are even lawyers. The multidisciplinary educational background provides a foundation for the multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary development of the TCM acupuncture in the future. Younger students mostly choose TCM majors as their careers. In recent years, the proportion of young students has increased and the proportion of students changing careers has declined. Some students plan a future in the TCM industry and some are purely out of interest. Most students were born in Canada and most are not of Chinese descent. Generally, in addition to the board exam, there is a graduation exam before graduation, which includes two parts, basic theory and clinical operation. Some schools allow students to write graduation theses instead of a graduation exam. Some local students in Canada go to school while working. The so-called full-time students have to attend 20 hours of classes per week. Most of them focus on three or four days a week from morning to night, and then the remaining days can be used for part-time work. Their concentration and the intensity of internships are somewhat insufficient. In addition, compared with China, Canada does not have a three-year training system after graduation. After graduation, you can directly enter the market to open a TCM clinic. This results in graduates who do not know how to face, correctly diagnose, and treat patients after entering the clinic. If a physician, chiropractor, physical therapist, nurse, or registered massage therapist wants to add acupuncture to their services, a two or 300 hour certificate of acupuncture training is required, depending on provincial law. Although you can do acupuncture, you can't call yourself a registered acupuncturist. If you want to study systematically to become a registered acupuncturist, you must choose to study a diploma of acupuncture for more than 1900 hours. Okay, Nisreen, can you tell me like uh, when did you en enroll in OCTCM and why you choose to learn TCM acupuncture and what is your background before studying TCM? Yeah, so uh, uh, I, I enjoyed most of the courses. It was not easy at the beginning because I have no medical background mm -hmm. and uh, that's one of the main things I really love the school. Uh, even though with no medical background, they they had they knew how to help me mm -hmm. uh, uh, learn and improve my, especially biomedicine courses. We mm -hmm. have like TCM courses and biomedicine. Biomedicine was completely new thing to me. Mm -hmm. uh, anatomy, um, all those courses, um, but I had amazing teachers. Uh, for example, can I say name? Yeah, yeah. For example, uh, Priya. First course I had it was with Priya. Mm -hmm. uh, she made anatomy so easy. She used to give us some videos and the explanation step by step with the uh, with videos and pictures. I I never knew that I personally could learn anatomy and understand the eleven systems of the body, how the blood circulation and the heart and all the organs and systems. Mm -hmm. But she really made uh, made the, the experience really enjoyable, mm -hmm. informative and 
I could even go home and my my daughter she's in school and they they study anatomy a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I was teaching her actually. I was helping her, showing her my videos, mm -hmm. and then we learned together. It was really fun. I really liked the, how things, uh, how I learned here. Yeah, it was really, really impressive. So, what is the most enjoyable things that you learn in OCTCM? Mm, all the points, all the patterns, and even biomedicine, everything. And the case study that we used to have was actually harder than the exam honestly mm -hmm. and uh, yeah the exam was so easy I like oh this is good I used to this we did this we like, it was it was really good and I was really happy when uh, I got the email saying that I passed uh, I'm so glad that I did acupuncture I'm very happy very very proud and um, I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful that I found my way to OCTCM and I choose this school. Uh, I want to say thank you to all the school, all the teachers, all the staff that works behind the scene. We don't know them. They send us email. They always reply to our emails. Uh, um, they address our questions, our concerns. They are very helpful. I want to say a big thank you to them. And uh, also, uh, last thing I want to say is to people who don't have medical background. Mm -hmm. They don't know what to do. I, I tell them, don't, don't be afraid. You can do it. If I did it, everybody can do it. I'm coming from no medical background, and now I'm really, I'm really confident. I have a, a, a very good, I feel like I have a very good uh, medical background now. I don't say I don't have no, no medical background anymore, because now I have. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. If you like our channel, please press like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Thank you.